bottom of door, bottom rail of door, inserted into the underside of the door frame. Right hand door, the pivot bracket is mounted, which is mounted in this non leading style. There's a bracket just there that pivots. Mid rail of door, bottom of door section. Now this is inserted into here. Mid rail of the door is inserted into there. Now this is the breakout arm here. Okay, door is half made. Now we will insert the breakout door. Thank you, Michael, for your It is inserted in through this frame and then secured on the inside of the frame. Using a template, you can line the breakout system in its correct position. Not here. It's the top of the rail again. Now we have that part inserted here. Now we insert this part here into the top row. This one. Which is and the same at the other end. Once the door's in place, okay, then a clamp is used to secure the door together and then to the underside of the top rail we secure the breakout device into the head. Okay. Now we're now securing the door back together. Now, once the door is secured back together, using the clamp, on both sides it's secured. And the bottom door guide is fitted to the underside of the door frame. It has to be packed out slightly. Cut. door made, fitted with the right hand breakout. Which is now pivoting on the non-leading side. And the same has to be done to the opposite door.
This part then is then connected to the door trolley. Here. And this is the outside of the door we're looking at. Now a cutout is required to the opposite side of the breakout. As you can see, there is, I've turned the door over now. And we are now looking at the leading style where a, a ball catcher will be fitted to that. Come from the top. As you can see, that is secured inside the door section. The section of the door style is. Uh, 38 millimetres by um, a second. The section required on the door, both door styles is approximately here, there, and there, and there, and there is about 38 millimetres by 38 millimetres. That's enough to secure the breakout system which slides directly through there. And we have a complete breakout system. Okay, we'll simulate how they break out. Okay, go. And they just break out. And there, and there. Now that they've all broken out, it leaves a clear opening to walk through. You can see that small cutout that we showed you before which connects into this small clip which is attached to the door bracket to the trolley. Now we'll show you how they actually put them back together. It's clipped in and it's clipped back in and we do the same for the other side. Now they've also got a reed switch in the head of the door. So now we'll find that the doors will then start operating again by themselves. Back to normal. Now I'll walk through the doors and the guide that was mounted on the bottom of the door is sliding in through a channel. There is also an interlock system that you can see a channel on one side of the door leaf and another one here interlocks together so there is a seal completely up and down on the door on both sides. You can see that guide that drives in there. Now this usually is mounted flush into the floor but this is in a showroom so we've mounted up above. Again the breakout system is mounted on this side down this part here non-leading edge and then there's another piece where the bracket is mounted there and can be pushed out by a ball bearing clip on both sides.